Hello, Rick Off here. Welcome to video number 38 of Rick's Pipe Drain Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. For my next video, I plan to add one more metal plate and several magnets to the prototype's birch plywood flywheel. As I have had several inquiries from people wanting to know how I lay out and cut these arc plate sections, I thought I would take this opportunity to briefly show the procedure. Now to accomplish this, I made up a uh, scribing stick out of a length of wood and uh, I drilled this in three locations and uh, I have inserted quarter inch long roofing nails into the holes that I drilled. The first roofing nail represents the uh, the point where the axle would be on the wheel and nine and a half inches from that I've inserted the second nail and uh, that would represent the beginning of the uh, metal plate and the last nail, the third nail, is inserted three and three quarter inches from the second nail and this three and three quarter inches would represent the width of uh, one arc segment. Okay, one of the, this would be the width of one steel plate that I'll be cutting out. Okay, so my scribing marks would be here and here. And the sharp metal point on these roofing nails uh, works quite well to scribe the marks onto the sheet metal where I'll be uh, using this as a guide to cut out the metal arc segment. Now I've laid out the sheet metal on a piece of uh, plywood that I had left over after cutting the uh, birch flywheel and as you can see I have the left side of the sheet metal aligned straight with the edge of the plywood which I know is a straight edge. Okay, And you can see that the sheet metal is 12 inches wide so this means that I need to uh, take uh, half that distance, 6 inches and measure in from the side of the plywood uh, and this will be a center line uh, where I will attach the um, scribing stick. So I measure in six inches from the side of the plywood at two points, mark these points and draw a vertical line between them. Next I draw a horizontal line at right angles to the edge of the plywood and at a position that intersects the vertical line that I've drawn. And then I put a steel flat washer right at the intersection of these lines and this is where I'll mount the uh, scribing stick, the pivot point of the scribing stick. And then the scribing stick is set into position and uh, I tap in the nail very slightly, just enough to get a grab, uh, not even a quarter inch, I'm sure. Uh, and the reason for this is because uh, this allows me to remove the scribing stick easily, and I will have to remove it in order to scribe the uh, secondary lines on the sheet metal. Uh, of the arc piece that I'm going to cut out. And this would uh, be the end lines of the arc segment. And I'll show you that in a moment, but uh, first let me show you how I scribe this arc segment on the sheet. Okay, now you can see the, the curve of the sheet metal from where I cut out my last uh, arc segment. And uh, I can't keep that edge. It would be nice if I could, but I can't because this represents the uh, top edge of the arc segment and or the outer edge I should say and uh, the inner edge would have been uh, right about here and uh, 
it would have a, a narrower arc, see, because it has a, a smaller circumference than this point. So the uh, arc segment that I'm going to cut here, uh, it, it will start at this corner that I have a line now on the scribing stick and uh, it will kind of go up a bit and then come back down to the other end. So I'll have a, a waste piece right in through here. I should also mention that the, uh, that the nail points on these two scribing nails are just barely through the other side of the uh, scribing stick. Just barely, just the points are coming through. So holding the plate steady with one hand, I'm going to start in the center and uh, I'm going to work this scriber back and forth several times to get a nice scribe line. Take it right out to the end. Now steady with this hand and and work the other side. Okay, there we have it. Next, I remove the scribing stick from its position and I place this uh, this is an aluminum bar stock which I'm using for a straight edge and I place this so that this end would be directly in line, this, this edge would be directly in line with the center of the uh, pivot hole which was made by the uh, nail of the scribing stick and uh, the other end this would uh, meet the edge of the uh, uh, steel sheet right at the point where the upper scribing mark is. So right at that point I'll scribe a line with a pencil. All right, And then I'll swing the, uh, the straight edge around to the other side of the uh, sheet and I'll uh, scribe the other line. As you can see I now have uh, both ends of the arc segment marked off and those will be the cutting lines. I'll attempt uh, to cut these off just to just enough to leave the lines showing on the, on the uh, metal surface. Uh, the same thing will apply to the scribe lines for the arcs. Now it's very important that you remove the scribing stick and use the, a straight edge to make these end lines. If you use the uh, edge of the, the side edge of the uh, scribing stick to make these lines, uh, they won't come out right, and your arc segments uh, will not fit together properly. So that's why I remove the scribing stick and use a straight edge aligned with the center of the uh, pivot point. Okay, now here we have the cutout pieces. These are just rough cut and uh, the arc segment of course is at the top and just below that I'm showing you the uh, piece of waste material that I had cut out. I'll need to take a file to this now and uh, deburr all the sharp edges. And then I'll take some uh, emery paper and uh, give both sides a good scrubbing with that and clean off uh, any residue that's on there. Then, then next I will spray paint these with uh, rust protective enamel. Uh, that would be the blue enamel that you see in the videos. I need to drill mounting holes for the number four by one half inch flathead wood screws that I'll be using to attach the plate to the flywheel. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you in the next video.